Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to do a review of Matter Hackers uh, build series PLA filaments that I recently bought. So let's have a look after the intro. So this week Matter Hackers uh, announced a, a new filament line in their uh, offerings that is called Matter Hackers build series and they do PLA and APS and patchy and I have uh, two rolls of uh, PLA that I've been testing out uh, I want to give you my thoughts on it uh, the PLA I got uh, is yellow and as you can see the spool is almost done I printed a lot of things and uh, been trying out my Prusam MK3 printers uh, with it a lot so I printed a lot of this I also got uh, a violet uh, f filament no, purple sorry purple and uh, both filaments are PLA uh, 1.75 millimeters uh, for the Prusa and uh, they have uh, a recommended printed temperature of 190 to 220 degrees Celsius and uh, those are one kilo spools uh, <coughs> I first tried uh, uh, my normal PLA uh, print settings with uh, 205 degrees uh, after having printing a, a typical temp tower and uh, that temperature seemed to look look the best. I got of uh, got a quite amount of stringing in the higher temperatures, uh, uh, but. Uh, at the lower temperatures I got uh, rather poor layer adhesion uh, but uh, at 190 uh, to 210 was the best looking result of the filament. Uh, I tried printing out several things like the Benzi and, and, and some overhang tests and they all looked very well. Uh, the oil bot I printed uh, but uh, the problem was at uh, 205 degrees uh, layer adhesion was uh, rather poor so uh, all the parts were breaking apart very easily and, uh, and that was uh, giving me some trouble and at, uh, at higher temperature like 220 that uh, the recommended maximum I was getting uh, quite a uh, high number of stringing issues and uh, with the higher temperatures I uh, tried to figure out retraction settings uh, but uh, it seems seemed that uh, whatever I did regarding of retractions I didn't get rid of the stringing issue and uh, at some point I contacted uh, Jeffrey uh, at print 3D channel and he has been printing a lot of things with Matterhackers filaments and, and I asked him about uh, his settings and, and, and his uh, comments led me to try to disable C-Hop on the slicer settings and when I did that I got rid of the stringing I, I got almost no stringing in the, in the parts uh, it was pretty much perfect and at 210 no, 20 degrees celsius uh, layer adhesion was uh, was not a problem um, so i solved both of the issues while dialing the slicer settings and, and the look of the filament is is excellent and i didn't have any issues with uh, uh, diameter uh, or over extrusions or, or or any sorts of problems like that overhangs printed out really good even though i have broken it to pieces uh, at 70 degrees the overhang looked quite good so uh, the print quality was was really good for this filament but i had a lot of scrap <laughs> due to the layer adhesion issues and even my benzy got broken in half uh, when I was trying out but after I got the retraction settings back to normal and uh, C-Hop disabled and 220 degrees uh, printing temperature I uh, 
printed several things that came out awesome. Uh, I switched over to the yellow PLA because uh, I thought initially uh, maybe this particular spool had got uh, some bad uh, bats or something. But I switched over to the yellow one and, and had the same uh, stringy issues there before I found the solution and so I knew this spool was was quite normal so I continued with a yellow spool and uh, I printed out uh, the Angus uh, Christmas tree torture and and this uh, came out absolutely perfect there's almost no overhang issues it's uh, uh, my best uh, uh, Christmas torture and <laughs> print. I've tested uh, a quite quite a number of those with different filaments, and and this came out uh, really great. And um, the the layer lines came out really good, and and this is pretty much perfect uh, example of the uh, Christmas tree by Angus at Makers Muse. Uh, I then printed out a uh, low poly uh, Yoda head that I found on the Thingiverse and uh, it came out great uh, I then uh, found a very detailed model and this uh, Yoda head is, is extremely high detail and it came out absolutely perfect there is absolutely no issues in the print and it is an excellent quality model and very high detail mess in this model and uh, it had uh, supports underneath the chin and there was no issues removing those supports and also supports uh, around the ears that was no issues and so it's a very uh, good model and it was very easy to remove the supports and this came out absolutely perfect and then uh, for Christmas I, I got myself a 3D scanner and I scanned all my family, <laughs> uh, myself here and, and my son, and, uh, and here's myself and my wife and uh, her, her son from my previous marriage and our son uh, Siki that is always uh, watching my 3D printing processes and uh, this scanner that I got is uh, not very detailed and it's uh, good for making uh, toy models like this uh, but all the print came, came out great and there was no issue printing and, and especially the Yoda head is, is extremely good looking and uh, uh, it has uh, basically no flaws in this model and it looks so good I, I was first thinking of painting the model but it looks so good I'm not gonna paint it <laughs> because this is so good of an example what can be done by 3d printing and this filament is, is shining in this sample print so this uh, concludes my review of the matter hackers build series PLA filament uh, initially I had problems with layer adhesion and stringing but after figuring out the slicer settings by raising temperature and disabling C-hop on my Prusa Mark II printer I got awesome prints and, and layer adhesion is not a problem anymore and, and no stringing issues uh, either so I think this is a great filament uh, for every Every, every day print printing and, and for models uh, like that uh, it's perfect for for doing something like this and, and or models that you're gonna paint paint later so I would highly recommend this filament and it's a very good pricing on the filament on the matterhackers.com website so go check them out uh, I don't have any affiliate links to you but I'll link to the filament I bought uh, in the video description so you can see the pricing of the filaments so for now I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one